The 72 hour sardine challenge starts now. What am I gonna do with all these sardines? I have 30 cans of sardines here of varying kinds and I have three cans of wild mackerel. I'm going to incorporate this into the next 72 hours. To be honest, there's enough sardines here to do two or three challenges. I do not think I will, you know, consume all of these uh, in the course of three days. This video today is a little different from my normal videos. I am going to walk you through three days of what happens when you eat sardines for 72 hours, and uh, we're gonna go through it all. I've got questions and answers. I've got uh, the basics. Uh, I've got all kinds of links for you to look at and hopefully some fun and hopefully some results for me. I'm doing this for me. So let's go over the basics of what is a sardine challenge. This came because about a week or so ago, I happened to catch Dr. Boz's video on her group that she put through a 72 hour sardine challenge and I was completely fascinated. I had seen her video that she had done previously on it, maybe three or four months ago and I kept saying, oh, I want to do that, I want to do that one. Never did, and finally I did it last week, and I was blown away by what happened, not only with myself, but a whole bunch of people did it with me in my Facebook group. I'm going to link Dr. Boz's video down below so that you can watch it, and if you're just as excited as I got, then you can come back here uh, and, and you know maybe re-watch this one and follow along and, and uh, try it yourself and see. So let's go with the basics of the challenge. The basics are for 72 hours you eat nothing but sardines and they can be sardines packed in water. I have a whole case here of sardines packed in water. They are the cheapest ones that that are available to me here in Canada. I have some sardines. These are Mediterranean bristling sardines. Um, they are packed in, in oil, olive oil. And I've got these skinless, boneless sardines. They are packed in water. I have uh, King Oscar bristling in extra virgin olive oil. And I have some mackerel packed skinless boneless in olive oil. All of these are okay. Um, also herring is very similar to sardines, so herring can be used as well. I, I would suggest if you can to stick mostly to sardines. I might have one can of mackerel per day. I'm going to link a website down below that show somebody in my Facebook group found this. It was Excellent. Uh, thank you, Judy, so much for finding this link. It does a complete analysis of sardines versus mackerels. They're actually very complementary. And so based on that, I decided I was going to do, you know, three quarters in sardines in a day to, like say, I, say I'll do three cans of sardines and one can of mackerels because there was some things that the mackerels have that the sardines don't. But hands down, sardines are the best choice. All of this is very anti-inflammatory. This is going to boost your ketones and hopefully uh, help lower blood glucose. I, I mean, it, it's just amazing when you see the numbers. There's, uh, there's no limit. Um, if you have one can a day or, you know, as many as it takes for you to be satisfied, I know that um, the very nature of sardines. Uh, some people just don't end up eating very much, that's okay. Um, and some people will eat uh, four or five cans. Uh, that's kind of where I fall in. And some might need more. So there isn't, uh, there isn't a limit um, to how many cans. It's just go by your satiety. 
Um, as I said, how it's packed is your choice. Let's talk about mustard, lemon, and tomato sauce packed sardines. They are okay, but read the ingredients um, because if they contain sugar or seed oils, I would definitely avoid them. The whole point is uh, we want to be anti-inflammatory and seed oils are extremely, you know, the opposite of that. So uh, watch the ingredients. Um, what a lot of people do is they go with the water packed or they go with the oil and drain it off and then they add their own, like their own organic olive oil, cold pressed, uh, apple cider vinegar, that sort of thing. I'm going to be making a dressing that you can use with your water packed or drained sardines if you so choose. You can have them hot or cold. I love them cold out of the fridge. Some people heat them up in a pan. This is all up to you. Also smoked or kippered sardines are okay as well. So uh, those, that's the basics. Uh, I'm gonna probably have that listed down below as well for, for you to read. Hey, that's my baseline. Uh, my blood glucose is high and I think it's because I ate my dinner three hours later than normal, so late night protein. Hmm. Okay. Sardine can number one of who knows how many. King Oscar. Mmm, very good. Okay, so I'm ready for a meal of sardines. Check out my adorable little plate that I got, special for this challenge. It just somehow cheers me up. <laughs> so I'm going to make a dressing. Now a lot of people are doing this, uh, like they'll, they'll drain their sardines and they'll add a little bit of each of these things. And I thought rather than fiddling with it for every can of sardines, I'm going to make myself a little jar of dressing and I'm going to use it throughout the next three days for my sardines. So uh, let's, uh, let's do that. Uh, you can use, um, you can probably use a blender just fine for this, or you can, if you've got a hand uh, mixer, use that. Uh, I'm gonna use my immersion. It, all of them should work fine. Uh, in this dressing is going to be extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to put in a third of a cup and I'll list the ingredients below as well. And I'll, I will figure out the macros too for those of you that are counting macros. Okay, third of a cup olive oil. And I am using apple cider vinegar as my acidic ingredient. You can use lemon juice or probably, um, what's the other one? Oh yes, uh, Judy in my group loves hers with red wine vinegar. You could use a plain vinegar, something along these lines. I really like to make use of apple cider vinegar with the mother whenever I can. So that's going in. Going to put in a tablespoon of yellow mustard. This is our emulsifier. And I like the taste it gives as well. And I've got Redmond salt. Um, if you want to add other seasonings, go for it. Uh, salt is really about the safest thing for me to add. And so I'm sticking to that. And I'm gonna make our little. Got some mustard on the sides here. Okay. Yum. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this into a jar in a bit and uh, save that for the next three days. And uh, I am going to choose, I'm gonna choose the can of, no, I'm gonna choose the spring water sardines. Now, 
I also want to mention that the bristling sardines versus just when it says plain sardines are quite different. For the bristling, you normally get about 12, 15, 20 sardines in here. They're little tiny, tiny little fishies. This, you get large sardines. So I'll show you. There's four in here. Normally, there's a lot more. So I'm actually going to just drain this water off. These are water packed and uh, put them on this plate and drizzle some of this. I'm so excited to uh, get to use my fishy little plate here. Okay, and I'm going to put in a tablespoon or drizzle a tablespoon of this lovely dressing over top. Let's give that a try. Delicious. The dressing just amps up the flavor. You could use Dijon mustard, get it, give it a little even uh, more of a punch. Uh, yeah, I love it. I am going to go and eat these now and uh, we'll see you in the next segment. Hey, good morning. Uh, it's day two of the sardine challenge. I just wanted to kind of uh, talk to you about um, how I'm feeling this morning. I did not get a good sleep last night, but I, I, I know why. Um, I had terrible leg cramps. I was up three times um, putting magnesium gel on my legs and uh, it's because I forgot to take uh, my electrolytes yesterday plus, you know, the, the change in diet of just eating, you know, cans of sardines yesterday, plus my first ever heavy workout at, at the new gym I joined. Um, and and I, I think I was just depleted, I guess. And uh, just, it was a busy day. So today <laughs> I'm gonna double up. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna make sure I get those in. And uh, I have tested my mine with the, uh, with my monitor, my blood glucose monitor does not affect my blood glucose one little bit. So I'm quite happy to, to take them during this challenge. Um, but everyone should do the same with, you know, if, if you're wondering about that. Um, so I am, uh, I think, I think I'm, well, I think I might wait until after I get back from the gym before I have my first can of sardines today. Um, but, and also today I am going to try cooking them in a pan. Someone in my Facebook group suggested that. So stay tuned. Four point six, better than yesterday, and that's uh, that's about eighty-two, I think. But I'll have the the actual numbers above. Two point one, yay! Okay, so you just saw the clip of what kind of a night I had last night and my morning readings. Um, which actually ties in perfectly because a couple of people have asked me, can you continue to take your electrolytes while you're doing the sardine challenge? Yes, I highly recommend that you continue to take them, um, you know, after what happened to me last night. So uh, today I, I, I took some to the gym today. I'm probably gonna take double today just to make sure I get a good night's sleep tonight. Now, Element is sponsoring this post. These, these types of videos are hard to pull off without some support from a sponsor, and I'm so happy uh, and proud to be sponsored by Element and that you guys support that as well. So what is Element? It's a super tasty electrolyte drink. It contains everything that your body needs without any of the junk ingredients. It can help to balance your electrolytes with a science-backed formula of a thousand milligrams sodium, 200 milligrams of potassium, and 60 milligrams of magnesium. I took mine to the gym with me this morning. Yes, I joined a gym. Today was day two. <laughs> 
Right now, Element is offering to my viewers this free sample pack. It contains all eight of their flavors, of their regular flavors, and you can try them out for yourself, decide which one you like the best, share it with a friend. To get this free sample pack with purchase from their website, you can just go to drink element.com slash ketogenic woman. That's D-R-I-N-K element.com slash ketogenic woman. You'll see the link on the screen. You'll also have it below so that you can click on. Thank you again, Element, for sponsoring today's video. So let's put this aside. Today, what are we going to cook sardine-wise? Because yes, we're gonna cook something. Uh, I've been just eating them straight out of the can. Yesterday I had three cans. Well, straight out of the can, except for maybe my sardine sauce that I made, if you saw the earlier piece. But today I am going to cook, I'm going to pan fry two different types of sardines. This is my very first time doing it. And I'm going to try one, of, one package with skin and bones in olive oil in this experiment. And I'm going to try a, another water packed package that is boneless and skinless. And I wanna see which ones I like the best. Now this idea came from Denise in my Facebook group. Thank you very much, Denise. And uh, so what she does is she, she likes the skinless boneless fried in butter in a cast iron pan. Um, I have mostly, uh, mostly uh, ones with skin and bones. So I'm gonna try these two and see which ones I like the best. So uh, we are gonna go over to the stove as soon as I get these open. This is uh, going to be my first meal of the day after a 19, I think it's 19 or 20 hour fast, which was kind of unintentional, but there you go. Sometimes it happens. So let's go over to the stove and cook these sardines. I'm going, uh, I'm going to be just using a small amount of butter because there's some olive oil in one of these. I can't remember now which one, this one, I think. Okay, so these are the skinless, boneless going in. Uh, yeah, I'm not really used to dealing with skinless, boneless, but there we go. Yeah, I think it's sizzling because I got some of the water in there. These are packed in wa uh, water. Okay, and here we have the uh, bristling in some oil with skin, with bones. This is my preference. Oh, let's hope that. Okay, here we go. They're apparently supposed to get crispy, but I'm not sure. Uh, I am getting splattered a lot. Okay, I can see them getting brown. Well, that's good. Okay, we got our sizzling pan here. I'm going to uh, try a couple from the skinless boneless and a couple of these little bristlings. They look kind of good with all that crispy skin. I'm going to um, put a little bit of Redmond's on. Okay, I'm kind of excited. Let's try this crispy little critter first. Thank you, Denise, I like it. That was the one with skin and bones. Let me try this other boneless, skinless. Mm-hmm. I prefer the one with the skin and the bones. I think it has a better texture. But they're both so good. I'm surprised. I actually thought I wasn't gonna like these because I am the person that keeps saying, eat them cold out of the fridge, straight from the can. That's where they're the best. 
Um, but this is pretty darn good. So, uh, okay, so this, uh, this is the equivalent of two cans. Uh, this is, I'm gonna sit down and eat this for, uh, for, for my first meal of the day. And it's, it's like one o'clock almost. So who knows what's gonna happen later. I may only have like another can later before my eating window closes. And uh, we'll see about that. So I'll, uh, so w coming up in this video is going to be questions and answers about the sardine fast um, because people in my group are doing this along with me and they have lots of questions and I hope to be able to answer them for you and them. So we'll see you in the next segment. Good morning, everybody. I got a much better sleep last night. I made sure to take my electrolytes and I did a good Epsom salt bath soak. Tonight I'm gonna to use my castor oil pack. Um, all these things just kinda, they, they just help to keep my sleep score a little bit better and feel better. It's not just about the number on my <laughs> sleep score. I can tell when my number is low or high. Um, it's all about how you feel, right? So I, uh, have done two days of sardines. Yesterday I did four cans um, and uh, right now I'm ready to do my morning readings so I'm going to uh, I'm going to do that now and then I'll I guess I'll just show it up on the screen like blood glucose is 4.0 that's pretty low uh, can you see that 2.4 which is the highest I've had I think ever since I started tracking this. My ketones never go high. I see people three, four, like I don't know how mine never go up there, but they don't. And uh, I just, um, I'm working with, with what I've got here. Today I'll be having sardines all day. And then in the morning, I uh, tomorrow morning, I will take my final readings for this challenge. Um, and uh, yeah, so stay tuned for the next segment. I'm going to go through a whole bunch of questions and try to provide answers um, from things I've gotten from the Facebook group where other ladies are following this as well. Um, and also people have asked me questions on my last Tuesday talk when I mentioned the sardine challenge. So I'm going to try to answer everything. Okay, see you soon. Hi everybody, okay, so we are here for the questions and answers. Um, so in the beginning of the video, I did answer a few basic questions. I set out a few basic guidelines for the 72 hour challenge. Um, but since then, uh, a few questions have come up in addition to that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that, I'm going to take those guidelines and then these questions that have come up and I'm going to put them on my website on a sheet that you can print out. So by the time you see this video, that should be available. So, um, but, so let me go on with the actual questions that came in in my group after we started the 72 hour challenge because uh, quite a few ladies did it with me. Okay, so intermittent fasting for the people that are fasting, um, should they only eat their sardines in the fasting window or can, you know, um, what, what should they do? If you're intermittent fasting, sure, uh, just eat your sardines in the fasting window. Um, you don't have to fast, but you can fast. So it, it's, it's entirely up to you. Uh, should you get the sardines that have the skin and bones or is the boneless, skinless uh, kinds okay? It is your choice. Now, obviously the skin on, bone in ones are preferable from a nutritional point of view because the, the bones um, have, all the, have lots of calcium in them for you. And 
the skin is where the uh, a lot of the good fats are. So um, my I think that the little tiny ones that have the skin and bone are the best tasting ones. And so those are the ones that I normally buy. I just I find the the skinless, boneless ones um, just just have less something and tech the texture is not as good but it, it's your preference so if you if you if you don't want to do the fast just because of the skin and bones get the boneless skinless ones um, because I think you'll still get a lot of benefit um, so yeah that's that's how I feel about that what can I substitute for the sardines that one actually came up a lot um, so there's there's a if you can possibly not substitute all your sardines for this, but there are a couple of things that are close to sardines. And in fact, I think sardines and herrings are in the same family. So if, if you are okay with something like kippered herrings um, or smoked herrings, you know, go, go for it. Um, the other one is mackerel. Mackerel and sardines are very close in nutritional uh, items. However, uh, sardines has more of many of the things, um, but mackerel also has more of a couple of things. Uh, I will put a link to a website that shows a comparison. So uh, what you could do is, is maybe substitute, uh, you know, one can a day of mackerel for one of your cans of sardines, and, and you'll actually get quite a good balance of nutrition there. Um, that's what I've been doing. I've been having about three cans of sardines and one can of mackerel in a day, and uh, they're quite good. They're completely different texture, but very close in, in nutrition. Uh, can you drink coffee and tea and is there anything else you can drink? So uh, coffee and tea, if black, obviously, so water, uh, mineral water, sparkling water, that kind of thing. Uh, you, you just don't want to be having anything that has calories, carbs, um, you know, any other foods other than, you know, fish oil. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, the answer to that is yes. Um, how often can you do the sardine fast? Um, I, I'm not really sure. I mean, to me that, uh, you know, it says probably as often as you like. Uh, I mean, I think... I, I, I think just, like my plan is to uh, maybe do this once a month uh, because I just I really enjoyed it both times I've done it I did it last week for three days and now this is this is uh, three days this week is just coming to an end almost um, and I feel fantastic so you know probably just uh on occasion or once a month or twice a month? Um, maybe this would be a good question for Dr. Boz. We could probably ask her, um, maybe in one of her upcoming live streams or something. Uh, let's see here. Oh, I thought this was a really good question. Can't I get the same results doing something else like the egg fast, uh, the bacon fast, BBBE, strict carnivore, that sort of thing? Uh, probably, probably yes. I mean, if you follow something like that, I mean, I've done the egg fast many times in the past and it always gets me into ketosis pretty fast. Back then I wasn't testing my blood, my blood sugar, so I, I you know, can't answer to that and I wasn't I didn't know what a Dr. Baugh's ratio was or, or anything so I wasn't measuring those things but as far as you know getting you on track and feeling good and you know taking away the cravings absolutely you it, you know if sardines is something you just can't face try one of those things I mean I'll, I'll link a couple of resources down below for those here is why I personally will probably do the sar the sardine challenge from time to time, you know, probably once a month. It is for the 
inflammation. So I am an older person and I know that a lot of the people who watch my channel are also in my age group and older. We have, you know, some of us, not all of us, but some of us have, you know, some arthritis happening, uh, aging skin, um, you know, those sorts of things that really can be helped with omega-3s. This is about uh, taking in a surge of anti-inflammatory sardines that are so high in omega-3s. I mean, this, this is like, you know, a surge of life through your body. And that is what has attracted me to doing the sardine challenge um, because of those high levels of omega-3s. So I, you know... Uh, so it's sort of a yes and no. I mean, I have done all those things and, and I've gotten results doing all those things in the time that I was doing them. But now as I get older, my, my goals and my needs, you know, the things that my body needs are different than 10 years ago when I started doing this. So I didn't think about arthritis and anti-inflammatory foods back then. I just was like, uh, does it fit my macro? That was the only thing I cared about back then. Uh, now I care about different things, and that's why I like the sardine challenge. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, oh, uh, I wrote down interesting factoid about sardines. I noticed as I was uh, loading up my chronometer macros, uh, you know, so that I could do my chart in my next Tuesday talk, that most of the sardines that are packed in um, the olive oil, the little tiny sardines, skin and bones packed in olive oil. They happen to be about 70, 30, 70% 70 fat, 30% protein, same as a ribeye. <laughs> I thought that was kind of funny. I know they don't taste the same, but uh, yeah, we could eat sardines, uh, in, you know, every day instead of ribeyes. Something to think about or at least alternate them. So those are the questions. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to consolidate all this information that I've been trying to pack into this video into something that you can actually just, just go to my site, print out, uh, and then you have it on a piece of paper for, for those of you that plan to do this again. <laughs> so uh, uh, see you in the next segment. Uh, we're going to wrap it up. Uh, you'll see my final numbers and uh, just final thoughts on the sardine challenge. Two cans of sardines with special sauce. Oh, so good. Good morning. My last uh, day, well, my 72 hour sardine challenge is winding down. I will have my last can of sardines sometime this morning, and then that will be it for a while. I'm looking forward to having some beef later. Uh, so, my last reading, I'm going to take that now, just give myself a little poke and see what we have. Okay, this one is uh, ketones. Uh, they are 1.7. There we go. Um, yeah, so they're down from yesterday. No idea why, because uh, I had nothing but sardines. But that's okay, that's still pretty good. 4.0. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, the sardine challenge is done. This is a wrap. Um, 72 hours and 12 cans of sardines later. I'm pretty happy with my results. Um, and I wanted to, to say that the day after my ketones went up to 2.8 and uh, my, my blood glucose was 65, which was the lowest I've ever seen it. So I had a Dr. Boz ratio of, I don't know, 30 or 29 or something. It was, it was incredible. Um, weight loss. 
I know a lot of you are going to ask because, you know, people want to know, did you lose weight? Well, uh, yes and no. Um, so I got a new scale, as I mentioned in my Tuesday talk, it measures body fat and muscle and all of that stuff. During the three days, I lost 0.2 pounds only, um, which, you know, on the surface is, it can be disappointing, but I lost a total of 1.82% of body fat, and that was measured the day after. I think when I, um, on the third day, I reported 1.47% down, but I lost still more after that. So, um, so that's like some body fat there. Uh, I'm pretty happy about that because that's what counts in the end. Uh, would I do this again? Absolutely. I uh, I only use 12 cans of sardines. You saw all the sardines I had in the in the opening shot. I have enough to do a couple more challenges, and I will probably do one next week. So I've had a nice break now with uh, lots of beef, and I've even done a couple of fasts. Like I did a 20 four hour fast this week and a um an eight no a 20 24 and a 20 I'm trying to gear up to do 36 so so here's why I like the fact that the sardine fast boosts my ketones I did a fast the day after the sardine fast um, like when I had those high ketones and it made the fast so much easier because when you have high ketones you are not hungry and and so you know there's there is some method to all this madness um, you know even though you can't see it at the time there are some things pieces you know click together so more on that to come I just want to wrap this up and thank you for watching this. If you still have more questions about doing a sardine challenge, put them down below and I've got all the links. You know, Dr. Boz, uh, you know, really want to thank her for coming up with this and realizing what it was doing for her patients, um, which is benefiting many of us. And she, she put the information out there, which is awesome. So I'll link you to Dr. Boz's video, I'll link you to whatever else I mentioned during during the video and I hope you have a great day and uh, do the sardine challenge with me next time. See you in the next video. See you in the next video. That's it. That's it. That's a cut. That's a cut.